Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making these easy crochet heart bookmarks. These bookmarks are a great stash buster. You don't need very much yarn at all. And they look so cute inside a book. You can use any scraps at all that you have or any particular color you want to make your hearts, or you can make them in all sorts of shades of red and pink for Valentine's Day. If you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, it's available over on my website, secretyarnery.com, and you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I'm talking in this video. So you're going to need some yarn, a crochet hook. I'm using four worsted weight acrylic, so I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a needle for sewing in your ends. So let's get started. So you can start by making a magic ring. Put your tail over your non-dominant hand and hold it on your ring finger. Wrap it around your two fingers making an X. Wrap it around your third finger and just hold it down with your thumb on your ring finger. Turn your hand over. You'll have a short loop and a long loop. You want to take your crochet hook, hook side facing down, and slide it underneath that short loop and on top of the long loop, and now just drag that long loop underneath the short loop. Just when you get it underneath, turn that hook towards yourself, all the way up on the fat part of your hook. Release your thumb a little bit so that yarn can slide. Turn the hook away from you, underneath the long strand. Turn the hook so it's facing down, and bring that yarn through the loop on your hook just like that. And now you can let everything go. That is your magic ring. So now get yourself situated holding your yarn and holding that ring open. We want to be working into the ring and over the tail. So hold that tail along with the ring. And chain four. One, two, three, and four. Wrap your yarn and make three double crochets into the center of that ring. So right into the center three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now we're going to do four treble crochets. So wrap your yarn twice into the ring, four treble crochets. So we're going to wrap our yarn and take it off three times. So there's one treble crochet. Wrap your yarn twice into the ring. Let's make our second treble crochet. There's two. Wrap your yarn twice into the ring, still working over that tail. There is our third treble crochet and our last treble crochet. So into the ring and our last treble crochet. Wrap your yarn, one double crochet into the center of the ring. And now we're going to slip stitch. So that is half of our heart right there. Into the ring, grab your yarn and bring it back. Turn your hook and slip stitch. Now we're going to do the same thing but opposite order. So one double crochet. Four treble crochet. And make sure you're still working over your tail. There's one, two, three, and four. So now three double crochet into the center of the ring. And make sure you're still working over your tail. That's one, two, and three. So that is our heart. Now we're just going to shrink this down a bit. We're not going to pull it super tight right now. Just in case we make a mistake, we can always come back and frog that back or rip it, rip it. So now we're going to look for the top of our chain four. So here is our double crochet right there. We want to go in to the top of that chain four and we want to go underneath our loops like we would be crocheting into it. So we want to go underneath both strands of the V just so our heart is super pretty. So underneath that first strand, we can just kind of poke that one on our hook. One. And now we just want to slide that second strand 
onto our hook. Just like that, two strands on your hook, the pretty part of that V, and now we want to make a slip stitch. So bring your yarn through and bring your yarn through. So we're making a small bookmark for a paperback book, but if you want to make a medium size for a 9 or 10 inch book, you will chain 40. And if you want to make a large book, like for a binder or an 11 or 12 inch book, you will chain 50. So chain 30, 40, or 50, depending what size you want to make your bookmark. When you have chained the length you want your bookmark to be, or a chain 30 for paperback size, just pinch that chain right underneath your hook and chain three more. One, two, and three. Now we want to work into the third chain, so this chain right on top of where we're pinching. And we want to go into the back loop right there. So the first back loop is right underneath the working yarn, and then there is two and three. We want to go into the third back loop right there. So wrap your yarn and into the third back loop from your hook. Just slide it onto your hook and make two double crochets. One and two. Chain two, one and two. And now we're going to go into the very same chain, that same spot right here, and make one slip stitch. So slip stitch right into that space. And now we're going to cut our yarn Leaving a long enough tail, we want to use a needle for sewing it in. So pull your hook up and your yarn through. So thread your needle. If you're using a sharp tip, you can start with the blunt end and just go underneath those two loops of that chain. That's where we want our yarn to start. Just like that. And now flip it over and sew it in three times. So one direction and then back and then another direction again. And now you can cut it off. So just snip off that tail. Nice and cute. And now up at the magic ring, we can pull that nice and snug. If you're using acrylic, you can tug it quite tightly or even a firm cotton. If you're using anything slippery or fancy, make sure you don't tug it too hard because it can snap and then your heart will unravel. Now thread this yarn in your needle. And now we want to work backwards. So our yarn is coming from this direction, so we want to go back that direction, just underneath those fat stitches, and back down again. If you're using a sharp tip needle, you can probably cut it off now. If you're using a blunt tip, you want to go back one more time in the opposite direction. And cut your yarn. And there is your cute little bookmark. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'd love to see how yours turned out. You can find me over on social media. All of those links are in the description box down below. And if you haven't joined and subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do that under this video right now. Thanks for hooking along. We'll see you in the next video and stay hooked.